Welcome, everybody. This is for those Mac users that want to give GarageBand a try, which is a free audio software recording that comes with Macs. After you launch GarageBand, you'll be brought to this page. And as you can see, you can just click on a number of options. We're going to choose Podcast. And you want to title this to save it as, and you can save it wherever you want to. I'm actually going to save it in my junk folder. So I'll just title it four and then click create. And it will create an opportunity for me to start recording. The first thing I want to do is make sure my preferences are correct. So GarageBand is reading my microphone input and my outputs correctly. So first go to GarageBand preferences. You're going to go to your audio and you're going to make sure that your audio output and input is correctly selected. For me, it is Personas Fire Studio. So I'll, that is selected for both. But if you're just using your built-in microphone, it would be this. Or if you are using any other kind of microphone, it should show up here. Once I know that that is correct, I know that that's going to be reading my microphone. So I'm going to be hitting the record button. And now we are live. As you can see, this is picking up the audio that I'm speaking into my microphone. Um, I gave that um again because we're going to go through the editing process after this. And I'm going to show you how in GarageBand you take this out. So here we are. I've now recorded a little audio blurb. And I can use this to zoom in. Zoom back out. Okay, so now let's go back to the beginning and play through what I have recorded. And now we are live. As you can see, this is picking up the audio that I'm speaking into my microphone. Um, I gave that um again because we're going to... Okay, so obviously you want to get rid of that um. So let's go ahead and just select the area where the um is and then just hit the delete button. And as you can see, that takes it right out. And now we can just drag this over and we can see how it plays out. My microphone, I gave that um again because we're gonna go through the editing so process. So that seemed like a pretty smooth transition there. And I didn't start right at the beginning, as you can see. So I probably wanna cut out that beginning part, which is really unneeded. So I can just select all of that and again, delete it and make sure that I drag these over and you can see it's doing the same thing up above here. And as you can see now, it looks like it's a pretty smooth audio track. So I can just go ahead and play and it back now through we are to live. see that it is. As you can see, this is picking up the audio that I'm speaking into my microphone. I gave that um again. Sounds pretty good. So why don't we go ahead and export this as an MP3 because we are done recording this audio. Go up to the share button. Click on export podcast to disk. You're going to want to make sure you're using the MP3 encoder. Keep it as a spoken podcast. And then you can click the old export button. It's going to ask you where you want to save it as. Let's save it as five to our desktop. And here is the MP3 that we just saved, just like in Audacity and just like in Adobe Audition. This is exactly what it's going to look like directly after you save the MP3. You can go ahead and double and click. Now we are live. To make sure As that it's going to play see, this is on your audio up player. The audio that I'm speaking which it is. into my microphone. I gave that um again. So that's uh, good to know that we have a successfully exported MP3. So we have gone through, we've made sure that we have the preferences correctly chosen. We've recorded some audio. I've shown you how to edit and move things around. And then I've showed you how to export and actually make sure that, that MP3 is good to go. So that's going to conclude this tutorial. You are definitely ready to start recording in GarageBands.